In this video, we will go over how to save and export your Aurora HDR 2019 files and what the differences are between the two. We'll begin with saving a file. Aurora HDR 2019 offers a native file format, which is the Aurora HDR 2019 project file. Its extension is .mpaur2. When you save the file, it is saved in the proprietary Aurora HDR 2019 file format so that you can later continue from the same point. You'll be able to open this file with Aurora HDR 2019. To open a file in another application, you will need to export the file, which we'll go over shortly. Here's an image from Trey Radcliffe, and we're going to go ahead and save his work that's currently in progress. To save your work, simply go up to the File menu and choose Save. You can also do Command S. This will bring up the dialog box. At this point, you can give it a descriptive name and go ahead and locate a place where you would like to save this. You've got several different options down below. One is Save Original Resources. And what this will do is this will go ahead and include brackets or source files with this particular project file. You can also click on Save History, and this will allow you to go back in time so that you can go ahead and re-edit at a certain point or just make that flexibility of being able to see what you've done to this particular image. We can also choose Windows Compatible, and this is a good choice if you want to go ahead and open up your project file within a Windows platform. Simply go ahead and click on Save. Next, let's explore how to export a file. If you would like to open your files in another application, you can save it in a variety of different file formats. These include JPEGs, TIFFs, PNGs, and PSD files. We suggest that you first save your native Aurora HDR 2019 project file first, using the File Save command. To export your file, simply choose File Export or you can go ahead and choose Export from the upper right-hand corner of the interface. Select the location to save your file, and then choose from the following options. The first option is Sharpen. If you click on the drop-down menu, you'll see there's Low, Medium, and High. This will give you the ability to sharpen your exported image. You can also resize your image, on the long side, short side, or you can customize the dimensions. There are also three color spaces. sRGB is the most compatible with the web. Adobe RGB is a common color space used in computer graphics and other software applications. Pro RGB has the widest gamut and it's the only color space that can contain all the colors captured in a raw format photo. You can also choose from different file formats. There's JPEG, PNGs, TIFFs, JPEG 2000, Photoshop, and PDFs. Depending on which file format you choose, you might see some different options that are available. Once you've made your selection, simply click Save. 